Hi, it's Lori Nimmerman from Common Sense Home, and today we're prepping some peaches for canning. We're going to make up some jam, and first we need to get the peach skins off. So to do that, we start with our peaches, and I have a big pot of boiling water, and you want to have plenty of water in your pot so when you put your, t your peaches in, the temperature doesn't drop completely. And then all we do is load up, I like to work with, in a pot this size, maybe four or five peaches at one time, so it's not too much to deal with. It doesn't drop the temperature too much. And we just set the timer for one minute and then leave these to blanch. And you want to make sure you're maintaining your boil. If you've got a smaller pot, try doing only a pe one or two peaches at a time because if you drop below a boil, it just doesn't work as well because you want that quick, fast cook of just the outside skin to loosen it and then I have an ice bath waiting over there that we're going to use as soon as our timer is done. And we're going to cool them off and stop the cooking so they don't turn mushy. And then when they're cool enough to handle, we slip the skins off. And as they're cooking here, you can give them a stir if you like. Make sure everybody gets an even dose of the hot, hot water. And keep an eye on them. Make sure that your water is maintaining temperature. We still have active bubbling coming up. And our timer is just about to go off. And the minute is just a place to start. You might find you need a little more or a little less time. If your peaches are a little underripe, they might take maybe a minute and a half. Or I mean a little, yeah, if they're more green, they might take a little longer. If they're extremely ripe, 30 seconds might get the job done. And we fish these out with a slotted scoop. And then I'm going to move over to the sink. And we load these right into the ice bath. This is what I, my ice maker on the refrigerator, new refrigerator, gets used for more than anything else. And that ice will help maintain the temperature of your cold water. If you don't have an ice machine or don't have ice available, It'll still work. Just use really cold water, as cold as you can get, because that'll drop that temperature fast and stop it from cooking so your peaches don't get mushy. Again, when I'm making jams, it isn't as important as if you're trying to can nice, uniform peach has where you want them to look cosmetically, well, not perfect, but nice. And then we just grab an edge here, and you'll see that that peels off nice and easy. And underneath we have our pretty peach. And with the ice, it's not so hot. I'm burning my paws. I remember I was watching a TV demo once and the person was blanching peaches and then they were trying to peel them without the ice bath. And the poor gal was burning her fingers. They're like, ice bath, ice bath. And there you go. Nice, pretty canned peach. And then to keep these from browning, I have a basin over here and then has cold water with a little bit of lemon in it. And we'll make sure the cut surface or the peeled surface is all covered in lemon and that'll keep it from browning. And that's all there is to it, to blanching and peeling your peaches. And then I can use these, I could can those whole, or well in halves or quarters or whatever. Freeze dry them, use them for jam and that's what we're going to tackle next. Thank you for watching.